the whole complexity of the human body is more than genetics can look at at the moment. But you know what we ultimately want to understand is how well are we breaking down food in our mouth, in our stomach, in our duodenum, which is the top of the small intestine. That's to do with enzyme release and stomach mm -hmm. acid release. Digestion. That absorption side of it. That's digestion, and then once you break it down to its smallest units, mm -hmm. then you talk about absorption. Mm -hmm. If it is broken down or digested mm -hmm. well, we can absorb well. Mm -hmm. But even then, within the absorption, there's genetics of some people absorb fat better than mm -hmm. others. Uh, some people pass it out through their stools more. So we all need to understand that. And then once we've absorbed the nutrition into our bloodstream, what happens? That's the metabolism side. That's the metabolism. That's when the, the fat and the protein, fat, carbs are the main energy units, come around to the cells that want energized. Mm -hmm. And they go into the mitochondria, which is what makes our energy. Mm -hmm. How well do we do that? So there's a genetic component there, but there's also a huge nourishment component. For example, for low in B vitamins, we won't turn the mitochondria over so well. So I was thinking B before you said it. It's <laughs> okay. a really well good example. <laughs> so it's a complex interaction of our genetics and our nutrition and mm -hmm. our lifestyle and all the stuff we've chosen mm -hmm. to do as to how our body is today. I'd love to look at blood type with you as sure. well.